Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And this is your first time stopping by my channel. Much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. It will greatly be appreciated. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, with that being said, I don't know if I said it already. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And blessings are definitely coming your way. And if I said it twice, it's doubling up your, your blessings anyway. So if you you know, if you haven't already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Sending love, light, upliftment, and protection in every way possible. If you're coming through, you know, in my vibration, my sacred space, to be putting anything dirty, evil, or just, just being nefarious, whatever. I'm sending that back to you. 20 million times fold because that mind's going to be blessing love and light and ultimate healing okay the video i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey ogres you are strongly tapped in becoming one within your truth and that you know what congratulations on that it is not easy to do because like i said in the last video there's a lot of people are peaking they, they don't went past like 5d you want some 12d type stuff and it is just like when I'm telling you, things are getting extra sensitive to you. It's, it's just like, you know, you, you're seeing a lot of different things are unfolding. You know, you're communicating more with your higher self and connecting strongly with that. You're allowing yourself, even when we have those hiccups where you get frustrated, you're going through so many different emotions, you don't know if you're coming or going. You have to make sure you're protecting yourself from other people's energy. Um, because it, it's just like a lot of people's energy is really clashing right now. You're allowing yourself to have that understanding on different things that's taking place in your life. There are some people that are creative. They're very creative with talent of uh, their, their challenges, creativity. But there's a lot of people that resist that challenge of, of change, of creativity. You know, being able to allow yourself to acknowledge things you know you're allowing yourself to you know it, you know some people don't like corrective criticism there'll be sometimes I don't even like it but then it's just like you know what if you really want to allow yourself to grow there's a lot of times you know it's different between somebody being passive aggressive aggressive just really trying to make you doubt yourself or just you know being messy but then there's other people you will have a lot of respect for and saying hey you know you want to you know spruce up on this or you need to put extra energy on this or allow yourself to you know uh disconnect from that or have more confidence in yourself believe more into yourself you know because we're going through a lot and a lot of times you know if you watch i mean if you read up and research on different angel numbers a lot of times you say you got to uh stop trying to have control over everything in your life and you're like i ain't trying to control nothing but it's just like a lot of times we do don't even realize we're doing it sometimes we do that um unsubconsciously and sometimes we do it subconsciously and then it's just like when they're doing this is you know a lot of times you don't want to hear that but it's just like we have to understand god universe and senate masters you know our family don't pass on they already where they need to be they're trying to get you there and for us to be able to go there you have to strongly tap in better than you ever had before you will understand why different things has came into your life they really knocked you down try to make you doubt yourself make you place yourself in fear you know not really truly believe in yourself or you may be in a toxic situation that you really feel like you can't recover from and you're understanding these are the different things that really strongly took place in your life this is every part of your you know you've got a big book and you know you're in your tragic you know you're in your confusion you were in your frustration your resentment whatever anything that had a narrative of negativity it was heavy on you now it's telling you close that book now we're starting a whole new story this is what got you to that point of discovering yourself you had to go through a lot of people didn't ha have to go through this is only for the people who can strongly resonate with that um that you had to go through some kind of, uh, of, of tragedy some kind of 
deception, something that really shook you to the core that you can't believe that happened. That's a lot of things that put the spin on things, the wheels turning for you to understand yourself, being able to say, hey, you no, know, they ain't trying to be no hard, but you know your whole life is a lot, right? You know, now this is your time to create truth within you. You're exploring yourself in different ways. You're seeing things different. You know, you being grateful for the good and the bad, the happy and the sad. You know, allowing yourself to really, you know, push forward into your life, even when things is trying to pull you back. You're allowing yourself to, I'm not placing resistance on myself. I seen you when I did that. You know, I see what happened when I settled. I see what happened when I was quick to judge. Or I see what happened where I, I went through impulse decisions and it got me into a worse situation than I already am. Now I got to go back and redo this again. And it's just like all these different things is coming up into your life where you even thought you, you were forgiven and let go. And there'll be something else to come up and you're like, man, you really trying to put me in that position. You trying to make me go to my old ways. It's like, no, it's not trying to get you to old, in your old ways, even regardless of what people try to remind you of different things like that. You have to be able to, those type of people, you got to leave them in your past. Since you want to be stuck on my past so much, I'm going to leave you right there. You know, I'm not even that person anymore. But... You're being able to see the true intentions of different people, being able to understand, you know, even though different things are taking place in your life where it can really place harm on you, you know, emotionally, mentally, your, your, you know, your well-being, your mental health. And these are showing you, you have to be understanding towards different things that's coming in your life. There's a lot of things that, you know, people are comfortable being spiritually oppressed you know and when they're like that they want they don't like people staying woke they want you to be narcoleptic <laughs> they want you to stay docile they want you to stay asleep but it's just like or you feel like you have to slow down and wait for a person to come here and you know come and meet you in, in that journey not everybody's supposed to stay in that journey with you there's a lot of people that's in your life for a lesson there's a lot of people there for a blessing you know but you cannot allow yourself to stop and do that because you know you have to be able to think you know looking on the on the up you know you put the shoe on the other foot are they going to do that for you no but it at, be at that point where even where you being tested and you already know you have to keep constantly telling yourself are these situations nurturing nurturing myself on that transition i'm really allowing myself to take place is that thought process really nurturing what i'm trying to move forward to you know is that keeping the door for my past open or am i allowing myself to be okay and content with the way it closed even when you don't get clarity from different things situations and people you're being able to allow yourself some things you're just not going to get closure you know apologies clarity or anything like that you a lot of times you got to get just keep moving forward saying you know i appreciate this moment sending gratitude with it even when it was something very hurtful give gratitude about this because it showed so much about you and your character it showed so much about the lessons and the blessings from that situation even the people that are going there you know a lot of times the wrong people will teach you the right lessons and you have to be able to appreciate that there's so many different things that i look i had to really allow myself to get out of that sulking of self-pity get myself out of that victim mentality even though these things really strongly hit me to the core of what i went through and really put me in some in some changes i was not expecting but then when i allowed myself to know i'm my own woman I'm fierce in every single way and it's not like looking down at nobody playing arrogant you know conceited or you know narcissistic but being able to have that confidence in yourself I'm gonna have days where I'm gonna you know hit that weak moment but knowing strength comes to follow every time you know being able to understand you got what it takes to conquer anything that you're being faced with if you weren't able to do it they wouldn't pick you to be able to do this and what we're going through is never going to be easy you're going to have different things that you're not going to just be dealing with one issue at one time you're probably going to be dealing with 20 different ones and you got 100 100 directions going on in your mind and you're really trying to allow yourself to even no matter what is going on in your surroundings even though where your circumstances is you're trying to move forward you're trying to allow yourself to know you have purpose within your power of purpose. This pain has a reason for being the way it is. And it's allowing you to nurture yourself, really see your strength. And even in your weakest moments, being able to know you're in the light, even the most dark situations. You are the creativity of compassion, even when you're surrounded by straight confusions of chaos. You know, you're going through these, you know, going through these changes in life that will really take you on a roller coaster ride because you know a lot of things right now is going in a movement and you ain't ready for it yet but it's like you got to constantly be ready got to stay ready you know you, you got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready but it's always telling you to 
be able to expect the unexpected. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because when you're not needed in a certain situation or universe and God is really trying to urge you to see something within yourself that either you're constantly overlooking or you're scared to explore or you're staying focused on the wrong thing, he will pull heat into your life. You know, he'll keep showing you even when you're bad decisions. He'll show you if you keep making these decisions because you don't want to change, this is going to be in your life. This is the punishment you're placing on yourself all the time. But at the time when you're even giving yourself credit where credit is due, you know, even when you're allowing yourself to pull forward, even when you feel like falling apart, you're still trying to hold yourself together. You know, if you have to be, you, you, you know, a lot of times you have to be able to sit in your emotions, not stay there, not plant there, but sit with those emotions. Don't suppress them. You know, if you want to get mad because you're going through some stuff, you get mad. You know, you talk to your higher self, you talk to guys. If you got uh, people that you can really trust. You know, if you got somebody that really is, is that shoulder, you can, you know, that shoulder and they got that ear to listen to you, that sends you good advice, and, you know, uh, guidance towards your life. Because a lot of times you got to be careful. You know, there'll be different people in your life that really hates the person that you're becoming. So they'll possibly be, always be feeding you with negativity, feeding you with fear and doubts, projections of their own, you know. But there are a lot of people that seize your potential, that seize your worth, you know, and try to call you out on it. It's just like, hey. You know, um, I see that that power you got into yourself. I want you to acknowledge that too. You know, I see something in you that is like you got that hidden dragon, that hidden phoenix. You know, that that lioness, that lion, this in you is ready to roar. You have that potential. You really haven't tapped into yet because you have to understand. Even your haters, your your enemies, they they see that. They see that. That's why they try so hard to make sure you don't open more doors. That's why they try so hard to be able to stand in the door. They, they are your distraction, but those are the different things that when you can allow yourself to see. If anything is not nurturing you and it's keeping you in a vibration that's very low, very drained, you know, uh, making you stay in that vibration of, of negativity, you have to automatically say, oh, this is a distraction. Let me stay focused. You know, and then God, God's and universe and your ancestors and them are saying, see, now they're starting to pay attention more. There's a lot of things that, you know, people bring a bone to carry one back. So you have to be careful. You know, they're always telling you move in silence. You know, even though you feel like, you know, I used to have that mentality because I want to see everybody win. That don't mean that people got that same heart as me. That don't mean that people got that same intention as me. You know, that mindset is me. You know, a lot of times people see you, they, you know, they, they support you all today until, you know, they see you as competition. You know, so there will be a lot of people that's going to challenge you. Life is starting to, you know, repeat itself just to see if you learn those lessons yet. Just if you really got that deep understanding what you need to disconnect from or what you need to explore. Even when you're allowing yourself to step in change, change, you know, congratulate yourself. If you went one whole day without a negative vibe popping up and really distracting you from what's truly important, you know, you're allowing yourself to see that. You know, okay, this is something that I'm still holding on to. Let me allow Archangel Michael, Archangel, Archangel Uriel, or Raphael, and them. You know, let me let me holler at you real quick. I need their accord that I'm truly trying to cut. You know, allow myself whatever, whoever is staying in my mind, rent free. Let me allow myself to evict that because you know I, I got too many different things that I'm chasing. I only chase dreams and paper. That's all. I am my grind and my hustle. I ain't chasing nobody. They ain't supposed to be there. They don't want to be there. Let them go. If people ain't seen your love and your worth and your appreciate them, let them go. Send them love and blessings towards everybody and everything. And just being able to have that gratitude that you got that power to move on. You got that power to sit up here and stay consistent with yourself. Now you starting, when you do more of that, you're starting to see how different things are tapping into you. You know, you, you're heightening up on your spiritual gifts. And on top of that, you know, now since you're moving faster, because a lot of things we feel like is moving slow. And you don't realize how fast they're moving. It may be like that from the speed of the eye, but we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Just because we don't see it don't mean it's not happening for us. And we just, it, you know, universe is telling you, trust the process. Even though you get tired of hearing that. You know, I said they're the worst words you could ever tell me eventually. Soon, around the corner. Trust the process. Trust what's unfolding. You have patience. I said, you really ready for me to fight you, aren't you? You say them words to me one more time, you know, but it's just like when you allow yourself to really see, you know, really look back and understand when you really look back and it's not look back at your your past and and think about the things people have done to you or the shame that you placed on yourself or what you did to other people, your missed opportunities. But they're telling you to look back and see how far you have come. You are too close to whatever God has opening up for you that you never imagined. 
just for you to give up now. Everything that you're going through holds a purpose to it. It, it shows some kind of strategy of yourself that you gave your chance to be able to connect with. Being able to see when you stay persistent and consistent, you already know. You're going to have moments where it's not going to be a good day for you. It's not going to be an okay, positive day for you. And you get that. You understand that. But when you're allowing yourself to say this truth too shall pass or just hold myself together even on the days I feel like falling apart you know and, and you, you get proud of yourself because you already know whatever you're going through whatever struggle you're facing whatever you know war you're you feel like you're battling right now it's not gonna last forever everything is temporary so it's just like you see all the life is too short you know, life is too short. You know, there'll be different things that goes on in your life that don't seem fair. It, it may be feeling like at times you feel like the enemy's getting over on you. Or you feel like you, you're never going to get the justice you, justice that you have for, you know, the people wronging you. But it's at that vibration. We can't stay focused on that no more. That's what gave us that you, when you allow yourself to see these are the different situations to allow you to say this can no longer continue in my life. What do I need to do to make my life better? What do I have to do to keep that positive mindset in my life, you know, where I know I can get on from day to day to day? Allow myself to not, you know, stay focused on what somebody has done or what things I haven't yet seen or what victory I feel like is not coming. But when you're allowing yourself to know I become better every day. You know, my challenge, my competition is who I was five minutes ago. What did I have in my vibration, what in my in my vibe, in my in my face, in my surroundings that kept me deviating from what was important to me? What did I allow myself to stay focused on that no longer needed my attention? You know, what what am I still in my heart that hold grudges for people I need to forgive, even when they're not sorry? Or situations that really shook me to the core that I already know that it's no longer in my life. You know, a lot of times we even stay mad at people that ain't even in our lives no more. It's like, why are you even allowing that person to do that? They may be thinking about you. You know, they may be having the regrets of how they did you. But you still send love and, you know, protection towards them. Upliftment. You know, a lot of times you don't realize you are a, a blessing of gift that keeps on giving. You know, there's somewhere in the world where you're going to meet some type of vibration that's going to totally get you. You're going to meet different people in your life that's going to adore you in every form. Going to love you in every form. They're not They're not going to take you for granted. They see your worth the first time. You know, and it's going to allow yourself to understand what I went through strengthened me. What, what, what I faced allowed me to know I can conquer anything that I go on. Because the things that you're facing right now that's hard for you to shake. When you finally get over that... That's going to make the devil nervous because that, that this is that situation where it's going to really, it, it's a real game changer for you. It's really a game changer for you. And when you're allowing yourself to just keep moving forward, and it was scary, it was hard. You know, you didn't really believe in yourself. You didn't know if you got what it took. And it was just like, your, you know, your ancestors, your guys, your family that passed on is telling you, if we didn't really think you can overachieve this, I mean overachieve this. Not you're not gonna just achieve this, but you're gonna overachieve it. You're gonna surpass where you placed your goals at. You're going past that. They knew you couldn't do it, they wanna pick you. You know, they really wouldn't. Because it's just a lot of time they say God won't put nothing on you that you can't handle and not realize that God thought you were a very badass. And here you are. You know, but a lot of times we don't see that because we're too focused on what is going on in our surroundings. And it, God, no. Universe, no. Even though it be, it be times like, yeah, you know, but you ain't stopping it. You see this and this going on, you ain't stopping it. And, you know, you have to be able to humble yourself. You don't know what is going on behind the closed doors you don't know just because you don't see certain things is going on don't mean reality ain't humbling somebody people a lot of people have humble pie a lot of people you know they really paying for the different things that's going on a lot of times that situation poses strength to you in ways you didn't even expect you know and these are those things that knows you are truly tapped in you see what lowers your frequency you see what people that you know that god took out your life did not bring back in you see the different things is really truly testing you to see if you that person that can easily get over. I tell a lot of times, some people be thinking empath stand for idiot. You know, a lot of times people take your kindness and make you feel like, oh, I can run over that person or I can manipulate that person. And you will start seeing, you know, always you always find the true intentions of people. You see the light of the true intentions for a lot of people when you're in the moments of darkness. You'll see how many people that are still for you when you have nothing to offer except love, friendship, wisdom, and kindness and compassion. You see how many things, because those are the things that are priceless, you know, because a lot of times you have to understand, even your shadow leaves in a certain part of the day, you know, 
and you'll be looking at different things where you felt like you can't breathe without this person or you don't feel like your life can go on if we don't have these people you know you don't allow yourself to speak truth because you think that might upset you a lot of times truth gonna hurt you know if, especially if you know you're coming from a vibration where you're coming from with love a lot of people don't like that a lot of people don't they like it when you're people pleasing they like it when you tell them everything that they want to hear more even if it's a lot you know, I tell people, you want me to tell you the truth or you're going to lie? Because I'm not going to lie to you. Because if I'm going to lie, we're going to disconnect this question real quick. You know, a lot of times when, when you are allowing yourself to keep heavy on those boundaries, a lot of people don't like that when it, because it, 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 they can't get towards that to manipulate you in any kind of way. Then you become drama. Then you become hard to deal with. Are you crazy? I said, it's okay. Because it just let me know, hey, I'm a freak of nature and I love to be that way. Because that means you don't come across a person like me all the time. There ain't going to be a person that's going to come out like me except me. You are very unique. You are very rare. That's why you were built up the way you had to go through different things. That's why you had to face the thing you faced. You had to overcome the things you overcome. You had to surrender a lot of things that you, you felt like you couldn't be detached from. And then you see when those things are detached from you. A lot of times we have to understand rejection is our best protect, protection. You know, seeing when you get your standards real high, there's, uh, you know, you have to be able to let go of those people that don't meet those expectations that you're going through. A lot of people are not willing to take that vibration and step up. You know, some people are okay with being, but you're not, you're not one of those type of people. We built you to last. Like, they, I forgot what car that is. They built you to last. You know, you got a legacy that you're trying to hold on to to be able to create to know this when I produce whatever this is, it ain't gonna be nothing like I left behind. I appreciate all those things that I left behind, but I knew I had to move on. You know? And these things time is really getting real right now. Change is getting real. You know, you see different things that really just made you distance from yourself, but this is at a time you have to become your own best friend. And this is at a time you can't become your own best friend. You have to be okay with being alone. Sometimes that scared the heck out of people. They always got to have people around them. I used to be like that. I felt like, oh, I can't be alone with my thoughts. You know, my thoughts are saying too much. I don't want to connect with it. And not knowing this is what my higher self that was trying to get in contact with me, preparing me for what I'm about to go through the next year or two. You know, now it's like I don't like being around a whole group of people like that. You know, and it's just like my trust issue go from the roof because it's just like all the stuff I've been through, I can't trust too many people. With my situation, I had too many people switch up on me real quick, you know, like a daggone station, <laughs> you know, so I had to be able to move on. But when I allow myself to look at everything that I'm facing, everything that I went through, everything that I really truly disconnected from, I'm like, Dad, you are real G towards yourself. And this is just not, you know, being all up in, you know, all you all about yourself. No, it's all about being okay, you know, because when a lot of times when you sell your own self short, you know, people are misjudged that are even with self, you, you see that as arrogance. When you allow yourself to, you know, say no and mean by that and stand by that, people are saying, no, you being passive aggressive, you being mean. No, it's just the fact is, if I don't feel like doing something, I should tell you, no, I don't have to answer my phone. I ain't got to respond to your text. You come knocking on my door without calling me and let me know, hey, is it okay if I come over? I'm not going to deal with you. I just, I ain't got to answer the door. You know, you got to call me before you come by my house. I don't really be bothered with folks like that. I had to be okay with being by myself. You know, because a lot of times you got to become your own best friend before you bring up in other people. You know, you had to be able to understand, you know, what do I need to change? If you, you if you were attracting drama, you took people that are narcissistic and stuff like that. You, you have to understand you can't say, oh, I don't want to talk to that person because they're narcissistic. I don't want to talk to that person because that's psychopath, sociopath, that's sadist, masochist, whatever. He's just a diabolical demon or she's just a diabolical demon. You know, a dusty, zesty, whatever you want to call it. All these gaggle terms they got today. You have to understand what part of myself and why do I keep attracting stuff like that? And then when you start noticing, you, you'll have different people will come out. Because right now, there's a lot of people projecting on people. I see it here on YouTube. I'll be laughing at different comments. I have like, poof, be going, like, I don't care. Then why are you saying anything? Anybody don't care, they're just not going to say nothing. they just going, oh, okay, I don't care about that, but I'm not going to drop a comment. When you do that, yeah, what I said really struck a nerve, didn't it? You know, and you're trying to prove what to me because I'll be laughing and stuff like that. And it's just like people will try to troll the heck out of you on this situation. But I appreciate them at the same time because you're allowing me to know you're moving through ego. You're moving through wounds. You're projecting. I'm like, okay, you know, you can keep that over there. But I send love and light to you anyway. And going through these different things, you're exploring the new part of yourself. you strongly tapping in. And it's just like you'll notice it too because it's just like 
I know a lot of times it's like I um, blew two damn light bulbs <laughs> within one month. You know, I be have batteries and new batteries. I'm putting them things are already drained. I don't sit up here. I got a uh, a big mark on my floor for when I shifted one time and my goddamn on surge protector exploded. You know, be different stuff like that where you don't realize your frequency is very potent. You know, you tap it in. You know, I see constant. I see people that. You know, in your dreams and your thoughts, you may be looking through a mirror, and then when you look through a mirror, you're seeing you don't see yourself. You know, you you see an eagle, or you see a wolf, you see an owl, you know, or you see your ancestors talking to you, and they're they're sending different animals to protect you. You you don't know how many times you can go outside, and next you know you're hearing all these animals that are you know I can whistle at my my feral cats outside. Next you know the birds will be whistling, I whistle right back at them, and they whistle it right back. You know, and it'll be crazy. You're communicating more within the collective, within the masses of of your surroundings you're changing at a a, a a very rapid rate right now and you may not even realize it. you're going through so many psychic um and spiritual ascension flutes you know kundalini is really spiking right now uh a regular ascension you really facing the dark night of the soul and you know you're coming to terms a lot of times this stuff can really hit you heavy but you're saying this is what is challenging me to be able to see that warrior and myself you got you got a vibration that wants to walk strongly with you and you, you're trying to be able to meet up with yourself connect in that way now allowing yourself to let fear keep you in a vibration that you no longer need it being in a cycle that you have clearly where you're welcome out at you know you're gonna have different challenges it's like every level you're coming up to you gonna have to deal with every level serves a different devil all your strategies are going to be different. You're going to have to strengthen yourself with boundaries. Have to be very selective about what energies is trying to come to you. You're starting to see a lot of people that are no longer serving you in your life. They're no longer being, you know, you're not. They're no longer in your vicinity. If it is, it's not long. And if you know you're keeping those board, you know those. Uh, I said borders, but boundaries up. You know, it's no longer you know sticking in that way where it's really bothering you. Or at different times you may get triggered. You know, it, it's just like, it is. am I telling, is this my vibration? Is this my projection or is this somebody else's? So it's like, you have to be able to stay stay on that. You even, you know, and I always have to tell people, and I have to remind myself too, the more you strengthen yourself, you got to understand everything got balance to it. The more you strengthen your life, darkness is falling right behind you. So you got different family members, or you got different people, you know, it, it could be sisters, brothers, moms, dads, you know, husband wife boyfriend girlfriend baby mama baby daddy part life partner they're they're really getting triggered by your your change and there's some people that are on that vibe which you like dude i like i like the vibe that you projecting can we can we hang can we be friends you know we can meditate in five minutes i'll call you every five seconds just see if you you caught that spirit told him i sent you that way but you you want to be on that vibe where things is just not vibing with you no more is going they're, 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 you know, they all universe keeps them constant busy. They keep their, their focus on something else, so you can stay focused on yourself, even when things are, you know, going all your way. Because you got every, you, you're heavily watched. Trust me, you heavily watched. You heavily, you know, people listening, recording, people trying to block, people strategizing. You know, well, actually, not people, but it's spirits that are attached to certain people. Because a lot of times it's like, why is that person so mean? Why is this person that? You are not dealing with that person. You dealing with the harbingers that are attached to that person. Because there's a lot of people that don't want to heal. A lot of people fear change. A lot of people don't want people to see them for who they truly are. So they keep those masks going. There's a lot of people that are wanting approval, wanting to be loved, wanting to be liked. You know, but there is in that situation where you may have carried those same traits too, and you see how that works for you. Although there'll be different times where God will show you an example. You see what happened, right? You see this situation. You, know, you, you don't want to be like that. You don't want to be like her. You don't want to be like him. You don't want to be like them. You know, and you see what's going on because it's just like universe is, is the universe is speaking heavy. You know, and it gets to that point. You know, a lot of times you you getting you know you getting those pinnacles. You getting your flowers constantly because they tell you, you I see you about to fall apart, but you're doing everything you can to brighten up your day. You know, you're doing everything you can to see the bright side of things. You you doing everything you can to be able to see the lesson within the situation. You're allowing yourself to heal from that pain, so this don't have to keep experiencing this in my life because it's preparing you for ultimate joy. You're going through all these different things because you're allowing yourself to tap in. You are truly connecting to that power source within yourself you know we're all gods and goddesses with amnesia you had to forget a certain part of yourself to be able to learn this all over again 
You know, you reprogramming yourself, you're learning, you're understanding, even when your parents and, and, and stuff went through abuse. They, they were abused and they were abused. You're seeing all this stuff. They're only passing down what they experienced. They're only uh, passing down of what they felt like truth was or what you should fear or what you should not speak on or what you need to stay silent for or what you need to be loud on. And these are those different things. A lot of times people don't see your light, don't see your gift and take you for granted. But this is at that time where you know you see yourself and when you know you're not allowing yourself to dumb yourself down water yourself down lower your you know your vibrations down just to be able to meet up with somebody tell them to come up and meet you you know you, you gotta understand people at war with themselves even if they try to bring that war towards you not every just because you're a warrior every battle is not your 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 battle to win you know a lot of times even god will take you to a certain situation and say you know what the battle is no longer yours you know, you did what you needed to do. Enough was enough. You learned enough lessons. You learned enough. You healed yourself through the most ultimate pain that I placed in your life. To see if you know your worth. To see this is not your tribe. This is not a table. I moved you from that table because not everybody can eat with you. You know, you see how different people are talking about other people in this table. As soon as you leave, you're going to be the subject of conversation. Somebody bring a bone to you. I guarantee you they're taking it back. So you got to be careful about what you say to people. got to be very careful about what you text people. You know, if you already see that there's something that's waiting for you to have a reaction, understand it, it only needs a response. It don't need your reaction. Just observe that, not absorb it. So even when you don't say that, then you're like, hey, you going to say anything? No. So you're not going to respond Me being quiet was my response This right here is draining That person is draining This situation is no longer mine <laughs> That is not my problem I don't need that situation You have to be in that type of vibration Because you are getting aggressive with yourself You know you deserve better You know you want better There's different things in the universe And then we're tapping into to see This is going to be a part of your life I'm not going to show you the whole thing Because the whole thing going to shake you So I'm going to give you you know that little that little snippet to be able to show you this is what your life can consist of but you have to stay persistent you have to stay motivated you have to be determined but I'm gonna give you different challenges within your life to see what you're gonna rather be focused on you gonna focus on something that was truly a distraction or you gonna allow yourself to understand what that was a distraction but still stay focused and then it's just like more you know you're kinda constantly get tested to know already know you already on one the game you know, you got to be in your mind. When people throw shade, you already know you won the moment they became bothered. You don't got to respond to shade. Your vibe is popping. You built up in a way that they're not used to. You move in a way they're not used to. Your vibe speaks before you even enter the room. A lot of times, your energy speaks where you only can stay silent. You don't got to say nothing because what is not said can always be understood. So you're going through these motions where you are strongly tapped into yourself. You are seeing yourself in a whole different light. Heck, yo, even your haters are seeing you in a whole different light. And that scares the mess out of them. But then you can look back at situations and it's not like you rubbed it in nobody's face. You know, even regardless of how cruel and mean people can be to you, whether if you are the butt of the joke, your best way of not being like them, that's how you keep your blessings. You send love and blessings towards those people. You don't got to be on no hate, you know, vibration. You talking in hate language. That's what they're used to. And I always tell, you know, I had to remind myself, you respond with love. They don't know how to take that. You know, they're expecting you to come out of face. They're expecting you to be unraveled. They want you to be hurt. They want you to be distracted because that's how they empower themselves. You allow yourself to know, I pulled that plug a long time ago. But I'm going to see you love your way because you need that. You've been moving in pain too long and now it's time for you to embrace with that love. It's time for you to embrace your honesty, understand, and being able to hold yourself accountable for the part you played within your own suffering. Being able to forgive yourself, but also forgiving others. Allowing your, yourself to let go of the neglect, the abandonment, the mommy and daddy issues. You know, and being able to allow yourself to stop. When we do that, we bleed on other people that didn't even cut us. You know, but this is at that time where you can't always use those excuses to overshadow your bad behavior, your bad actions, or what you choose to project on towards it other people or even within the world because when you're doing that you're saying how you feel about yourself and you're growing in so many different ways so you're tapping in you're at a point of no return you ain't got no more chances you got to keep moving you know because it's just like the closer you get to your blessings the closer you get to something that you never imagined the devil is always going to try to convince you that it, you ain't got it it's going to be a long time you know god promise you that he ain't about to give you nothing he lied you got to be like us. 
you know, who be all up in the pastures knowing you about to get taken out every one by one and God, you know, devil gonna sit up here and pick another one. You know, you have to be able to believe, you know, whatever is for me is gonna be for me. I'm just aligning myself to be at that point where I see every blessing and every hurtful situation. I see the love and the nurture even through the times of neglect. I see the moments of despair and still know I can be determined. When you allowing yourself to see the good and the bad out of situations and still seeing that as a blessing of a lesson, you speeding up your process. Even when you, you don't even realize your enemies are helping you speed up your process. There's your enemies are your footstool. Don't really, and it's just like I used to always hear that. I'm like, well, I ain't stepping on nobody. Be some of them I want to stomp my hole into them. But I ain't trying to step on nobody. No, they are used in your life to help you move you up. And people will be so determined on breaking you down and don't even know. They making you the ish. They want to talk about you so bad. They making you the ish. The people going to try to look and see. Um, let me see what that person talk about. Because every time I talk to that person, they're always saying something negative about him. Or they always saying something negative about her. Or they, they want me to be able to see somebody in their way because they feel about that. You're like, oh, that person's bitter. Oh, that person's in fear. You really intimidate the mess out. Oh, that person's talking to their truth. You really showing your strength. I can understand why they met. You're going to understand that and not realize. You're going to be even grateful for the things that people try to block out of your life. Because you have some something that little voice is telling you. You got to work harder than the people trying to keep you from it. You tapping in, baby, in every form, shape, way, or fashion. You are elevating. You are annihilating anything that is no longer needed into your life. But you're actually sending love out. You're sending compassion. You're placing that understanding. Understand, um, understanding, you know, with other people, you're understanding a lot of times that you know it, it's starting to become a, a, a divide to be able to come back together because you're seeing the different people, you know, even though you're facing the things you're facing, you know, it's taking time, it takes, you know, it's not an easy process, it's not a short process. Sometimes it can be that way, and sometimes it's not. It could be dependent on the deeper root of pain that you're dealing with, different scars, you know, you're having the trouble with healing. You know, and when we're doing that, you're really seeing things, you're really tapping into it. Because right now, it's like stuff is really getting hard. You know, you understand, like, why does this keep coming up? This hurts me so much. This person did this, or, you know, that situation had me that. I was so embarrassed. Isn't that? Because they're telling you it's time to let that go. You have hold on to that for so long. You allow that to be a part of you, like it's an appendage. You have to cut that. There's something you're emancipating yourself. You're annihilating that part of your life you are you know amputating that part of your life that can no longer be a part of your story anymore that was your venture that started you off but your story you, you want a whole new genre right now you could have been you know sleeping with the enemy or you could have been uh in misery you know a uh, hell raiser and anybody ever seen Clyde Barker movies don't things get brutal or you can be in a saw trilogy that's hard now you in love and blessings upliftment really seeing your strength you know, you, you one of the Marvel comics, you know, DC characters, you know, one of those different things. You're understanding yourself. You may be a part of the villain as well as you're projecting a superhero. You know, we always love superheroes, but we also understand. Some of us understand the villains, too, on why they're like that. But I hope you're able to resonate with the content of that. You know, we're going through so many different things right now, y'all. And facing what we got to face is nowhere easy. You're dealing with a lot of things that are out of your control, out of, you know, your situation. We don't have control over it the world we don't have control over our lives only universe and god has that the only thing we got control over is how we respond to something and then recognize when we're reacting allowing ourselves to move, look at things different in a higher level instead of what is being shown to you because everything is not what it seems so a lot of people want to convince you of that but just being able to know everything you're facing has a line of blessing in disguise to you you know and it'll be a point where you're going to truly be grateful for the things that you've really gone through it may have made you you hurt happy sad mad straight irate rage 48 58 hot whatever made you want to be homicidal made you even want to smile in a mugshot it's all right you know as long as you allow yourself to go through those emotions but don't plant yourself there you know you're going through these things once and for all so you no longer have to feel them you know allowing yourself to know when when i leave this situation i'm leaving everything behind with it you know but i'm allowing myself to appreciate it because it really brought me to a part of myself i didn't know that I need to truly explore or even acknowledge. You know, you, you step in one of your power and it can be very scary because, you, you know, we've been in a, a vibration for a long time, a frequency at a long time, and, and moving and doing, be stuck in our own ways for a long time. And it's not easy to try to unlearn everything that you have been processing for years and years and, you know, 
for a while you've been able to speak a certain way watch things a certain way do it a certain way now it's like you, you having to learn all, all again and it's not an easy task to do but it can be very well worth it it is very well worth it you know and you're going to understand why certain things had to change the way they are so i hope you are able to resonate with that like i said i always leave my my um my contact uh, information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking you know being able to vibe with each other there's a lot of times we go through things we're facing things or we're really trying to have a deeper understanding of things of what is truly going on in our lives and we don't feel like we're being heard we don't feel like we're being understood so it's just a blessing that we can have a community within ourselves where we're helping each other heal you know be, be able to come to a deeper understanding of why these certain things happen you know why is it unfolding that way you know I don't always have the answers but it's just a blessing you know when you universe is being able to guide me to help other people as they're helping me as well you know I love the fact that y'all share my videos I love the fact that you know y'all email me and say rise you know I shared my video with your video with certain certain people and you know it gave them so much clarity and so much love and you know and I appreciate that y'all know how many times y'all pull my hype string I'm like oh yes you know I'm glad it makes me love my purpose you know it makes me enjoy that I love to be able to bring some kind of love towards people because we all going through things you know we're all going through things and we have to be you know we have to be be friends with the dark part of ourselves as well as the light that's where we get our growth from that's when you, you get the keys to the kingdom you know not taking nothing personal on what's taking place but it's helping you grow you know and really understanding that but just being able to help each other and do that i'll tell people i, I don't judge nobody <laughs> you know i don't judge nobody I had to learn to stop doing that but the only thing is i said i can't connect with you if you, you know if you touch little kids you, you mess with animals or pushing old folks down the on flight of stairs i can't mess with you you know that's not the type of energy i'm ready to be uh i don't even want to <laughs> i don't want to say i'm ready because i'm not gonna be ready for that, that i want to connect with but i try to you know help the best way i can and whatever we speak on is confidential you know i also have a community section on my channel as well you know for my uh podcast as well as my 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 um positive posts friendly reminder food for thought um empath memes you know just to have you have a giggle and as well as my my podcast is there too it's not the same videos but it's on the same subject you know hey okas and stuff like that you know and being able uh to speak on positive things about our change and what we need to realize and connect to and you know living through depression and stuff like that so um you know uh, you can explore that as well and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation towards the channel um cash app there as well whatever vibrations you're needing uh to bring your your fruition you know your manifestations manifestations to fruition I'm sending your love towards you with consistency focus uh motivation determination persistence uh clarity you know uh protection you know because there's a lot of things that'll trigger you to you know go back into your old ways and you no longer you can't do that you can't go back you're not a clock <laughs> okay spring forward spring forward so you know being able to help you with that you know stay persistent consistent you truly have a purpose here your your essence matter your space matters you know you have potential and light that is not seen in any other way you're very unique and very rare and you're very much needed but the universe uh i mean not the universe but the devil and your enemies will always try to contradict you on that so you know they see your light and they see your potential and they won't they fear that you will ever discover that so you keep moving because you're gonna always keep on discovering a new part for you out of keep showing up for yourself you know, and you, you not realize you want to introduce yourself to a whole new you didn't know was there. So you keep on going. You, you, your blessings can be here today. So it'll be, you know, you'll be having doubt yesterday and tomorrow. And you don't realize you close one door and ten more open along with a couple of side doors and, and some windows. And, you know, ceiling light, whatever, skylight, <coughs> whatever is going to open up for you. So much love to you. Please have a safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe for everything you do, even through social distancing. Make sure you send love, light, upliftment, uh, and words, vibes, or frequencies. You never know. They can really take somebody a long way. And just because you, you send kindness of the heart to do that, you know, it can take somebody, it can take you even further. So much love. Shalom. Namaste. God bless. I say peace.